welcome to this 15 minute yoga practice for mid back pain. We're going to start off in a seated position today. So you can sit like this, you can sit with your legs crossed, or you can sit on a chair if that's more comfortable for you. We're going to bring our attention to the position of our trunk. Uh, sometimes it gets a little bit compressed. Um, so you're going to pop one hand on your breastbone or one hand just above your belly button and think about lifting the breastbone up and away from the belly button. So we're creating space, like it's a spring that was kind of collapsed and then we're lifting the springs apart. And then from here, we're gonna bring our attention to our breathing and our diaphragm, which is a big muscle that attaches into our lower rib cage that does most of our breathing for us. So place both hands on the front of the lower rib cage and breathe in through your nose and feel that belly and rib cage expand into your hands as you breathe in. And then breathe out through your nose or mouth. Take two more breaths here, breathing in through your nose, down deep into the belly, breathing out through the nose or mouth. And last one. Now bring the hands onto the left side of the rib cage. I'll just turn sideways so you can see. So left hand is kind of go on, going to go onto the back and the side of the rib cage, and right hand is on the front. And as you breathe in, think about breathing into the back of the left hand. And as you breathe out, let your rib cage soften and relax. As you breathe in, think about the back of that left side of your rib cage expanding. And as you breathe out, let it relax. If it's not comfortable to have your hand in this position, you can place it this way as well. And one more breath cycle here. Trying to get that left side of the diaphragm to work. And then we're gonna swap and do a few breaths on the right side. So left hand goes on front just to keep the ribs kind of softened down at the front so that the back is able to move. You're going to breathe in through your nose and think about breathing into that hand on the back of your rib cage. Breathing out, feel the rib cage soften. As you breathe in, Lower rib cage expands. Focus your mind on breathing into the hand that's on the back of the rib cage. And two more breaths here. Again, that hand that's on the back can be in a position, any position that's comfortable for you to have it. Cool, then bringing ourselves into a little bit more of a stretch. Place a hand on the breastbone and belly button again, and once more lift your breastbone away from your belly button to create space. Then bring both hands up to the breastbone, lift your elbows, so they're at shoulder level, and pull the elbows back to the wall behind you. From here, you're gonna straighten the arms out, nice and wide, and we're gonna turn the right arm so the thumb faces up, and we're gonna rotate the left arm so the thumb faces down. From here, we're gonna follow the thumbs. So the right arm is gonna go up overhead and the left arm is gonna reach down behind us. When we're here, take a breath in and pull the arms back. Try not to flare your rib cage as you do that. So keep the front of the ribs connected down and pull the arms back as far as they can comfortably go. And then we're gonna bend our elbows and the hands are just gonna rest wherever they rest. Don't try and grasp them together. That'll make you flare your rib cage. Rest your head into the top hand. And then every time you breathe in, think about putting that top elbow, the right elbow back a little bit more. And every time you breathe out, let that right arm just relax and soften forward again. Two more breaths here. Breathing in, pulling the right elbow back to the wall behind you. And then breathing out, letting it soften forward again. And last one. Then we're gonna straighten the elbows so the arms are straight. One more breath in to pull those arms back and then bring your hands down onto your lap. 
From here, inhale, lift the shoulders up towards your ears, roll them back and breathe out as they drop down. And do that two more times. Inhale to rise the shoulders up towards the ears, roll them back and breathe out as you drop them down. And last one. Then from here, you're gonna keep the right hand on your right leg, reach your left hand out to the side. We're gonna go do a neck stretch. Turn your left arm so that thumb is facing down and then bring it behind your back and take a hold of your right arm if you can, or maybe just the right side of your shirt if you can't reach. So it looks like this from the back. Then when you're here, you're gonna think about pulling that right arm or reaching that right elbow down towards the ground and tip your head over to the left. So we're opening up and stretching the right side. So the muscles that go from our neck to our collarbone and ribs. And then think about nodding your nose just up towards the ceiling and then nodding it down towards the floor. So a small little movement. And we're gonna do five of these. You should feel the stretch all through the right side of the neck. And as you nod the nose up and down, you'll feel it in different areas. Last one. You can also take notice if there's a big difference between your left and right side of your neck. We're usually all a little bit tighter on our dominant side. So if you're right-handed, your right side should feel a bit tighter. Bring the head back to the center. We're gonna go back to that hand on the breastbone, hand on the belly button, lift your breastbone away from your belly button, bring both hands up to the breastbone and straighten the arms out again. This time we're gonna turn so the left thumb faces up and we're gonna rotate the right arm so the thumb faces down. We're gonna follow the thumbs, so left arm goes up towards the ceiling, right arm goes down towards the ground, and as you inhale, pull the arms back a little bit more. Bend at the elbows, hands rest wherever they rest, on your upper back or the lower neck, and rest your head against the top hand, so your neck is relaxed. And then when we're here, as you inhale, think about pulling that left elbow back, and as you exhale, let it soften forward again. Two more breaths here. Inhale to pull it back and then exhale to let it drop forward. And last one. And then we're gonna straighten the arms, pull them back one more time and then bring them down onto your lap. We're gonna leave your left hand on your left leg and reach the right arm out to the side. Rotate your right arm so the thumb faces down and then bring it around behind your back. Take a hold of your shirt or your left arm if you can reach it. Think about that left elbow being pulled down towards the floor and then tip your head over to the right shoulder. And then when we're here, a little nod up towards the ceiling with the nose and a little nod down towards the floor with the nose and go in for four more. And you should feel the stretch in that left side of your neck. Make sure your ribs aren't flaring a lot, like mine are. Uh, pull them back in. And you should get a better stretch in your neck when you do that. Last two. Bring both hands to the front of your lap. Uh, last little shoulder roll, lift your shoulders up towards your ears, roll them back and down, and just two more of these. So this just loosens up all the muscles that go from your neck kind of to the top of your shoulder blades to your upper traps. From here, we're gonna come into standing at the top of the mat. We're gonna shift your weight to your right leg. You're gonna pick your left leg up and step it back. The back leg is gonna be planted at an angle on the mat, so it's not facing forward towards the top of the mat. Have a look down at your front leg, so your right leg. You want your right knee over your heel, like a pillar. So it's not forward, it's not back, it's right over your heel. And then from here, bring your hand onto your breastbone and your chest, and bring yourself upright. So ideally you want your breastbone over your pelvis or your pubic bone. You don't want it falling forward. You're gonna turn your body and then bring both hands up to your breastbone and reach the arms out. You're gonna pull your little fingers back 
and you're gonna look out over the right fingertips. And this is your warrior two pose. So if it feels uncomfortable, you can always move your legs. You can make them a little closer together or a little wider apart. Everyone's a little bit different, so see what suits you. You can move the front foot forward slightly. All the time you're holding this pose. If it's too much or there's pain in the shoulder, bring the hands onto your breastbone and just pull the elbows back instead. So just shorten the lever. When we're in this warrior two, you wanna make sure that you're not flaring your ribs out. So tuck them in ever so slightly. And then from here, we're gonna take this right arm and we're gonna bring it down onto our right thigh. If you don't have that much movement, you can just have the hand on the thigh. Bring your left hand onto your chest and think about lifting your chest up and forward. So all the rotation comes from your chest. And when you've gone as far as you're comfortable, reach that left arm up. Reach the left arm over your left ear towards the top of your mat. So the left arm is reaching up and forward in the same direction that your front foot is pointing. See if you can lift your breastbone up like it's trying to look at that hand overhead. And then bring both hands back down to your hips. Bring your trunk upright so you've got that breastbone over your pubic bone again and bring the arms up and out either with the elbows bent or straight whichever suits you and look out over that right hand and that's your lovely warrior two from here bring the hands to the hips you're going to step forward both feet together fall down towards the ground keep the knees bent breathe in to lift up halfway and then breathe out to fold fully forward. Inhale to come all the way up into your mountain pose. And when you're here, turn the arms so that the thumbs face out and you open up through the front of the chest and the shoulders. We're gonna put all your weight into the left leg now. Pick the right foot up and you're gonna send the right foot back and it's gonna plant down at an angle. So it's pointing out to the right. Have a look at your front leg. You want the knee over the heel like a pillar. Play with the position of your feet. So if you need to make them a little bit wider, do. Or if you need to walk the back foot back further, do. You should feel comfortable to come in and out of the position quite easily. Then put your hand, one hand on your breastbone, one hand on your belly button, and you're gonna come upright. So you get in your chest right over your pelvis. It's not falling off to the side. Hands go on the breastbone, pull the elbows back and straighten the arms out if it feels good for you. And then we're all gonna look out over our left fingertips or left elbow, so the arms are bent. And then when you're here, you're gonna bring that left forearm, you're gonna tip from your hips and bring that left forearm down to your left thigh. If you don't have enough movement, just put your left hand on your left thigh, that's totally fine. Then we're gonna bring that right hand to your breastbone or the front of your chest and turn to lift the breastbone up. So it's looking straight ahead. Reach your right arm up and reach it over the to the front of the mat. So the right arm reaches past your ear over your head. So you should feel a nice stretch in that right side of your body from your armpit down to your hip. Then bring both hands back to the hips. Bring your torso upright. Get your breastbone facing forward and then reach the arms out nice and long. And then from here, bring your hands to your hips. Step forward to the front of the mat, fold forward. You're gonna inhale to halfway lift. Exhale to fold forward. And a breath in will take you all the way back up into your mountain pose, so just standing. Rotate the arms so the thumbs both face out. You're opening up through the front of the shoulders and chest. And just take two breaths here, breathing in through your nose and out through your mouth. Last one, breathing in through your nose and out through your mouth. We're gonna cycle through that little flow once more on each side. So we're gonna shift your weight to the right leg, pick the left leg up, 
and step it back and plant it at an angle so it's pointing out to the left slightly. Check out the front leg, make sure your knee is over your heel like a pillar and then press that chest so it's right over your pelvis and reach the arms out. You're looking out over your right fingertips. Take a breath in here and as you breathe out, the right arm is gonna come down onto your right thigh. Left hand on your breastbone and think about your breastbone lifting up towards the ceiling slightly and then reach your left hand past your left ear and over to the front of the mat. Bring that left hand down, bring your torso back upright, bring both hands to the breastbone and either just pull the elbows back or straighten the arms out, whichever works for you and look out over that right hand past your right hand. Then hands come down to the hips. You're gonna step forward to the front of the mat, fold forward with the knees bent, breathe in to lift up halfway, pressing your hands into your shins. A breath out helps you fold forward and then breathe in to come all the way up into your mountain pose and rotate or turn those arms so that the thumbs face outwards. Gonna shift all our weight into the left leg. I'm just gonna turn the other way so you can see me a little better. All the weights in your left leg, pick your right foot up, step it back and it's pointed out. Make sure your knee is over your heel like a pillar. Bring the hands to the chest and the belly and push that torso so it's right up over your hips. And then reach the arms out and you're gonna look out over your left fingertips. We're gonna bring that left arm down to our left thigh, or the hand. Put your right hand on your breastbone and lift the breastbone up towards the ceiling. Reach your right arm past your right ear over the top of the mat. Here for two breaths, opening up that space between your armpit and your hip, so the whole side of your body. Then bring the hands back to the hips, Bring that torso right back over your hips again, hands to the breastbone, lift the elbows up and back, and if it feels good, reach the arms out. Look over your left fingertips. Hands come back to the hips, step to the top of the mat, fold forward, and then we're gonna come onto the ground to finish this practice. So have a lie onto your tummy. Have your hands reaching forward and we're gonna slide your left knee up towards your left elbow or the left elbow pulls down. This is your right. So slide your right elbow and your right knee towards each other. Take your left hand and you're gonna reach it through. So you're resting on your left shoulder. Now keeping the left shoulder and the right knee heavy, you're gonna pick up this right arm, keep it bent, and you're gonna turn over and open up through the front of the chest. And you're thinking about that right shoulder blade moving down towards the ground. Just go as far as is comfortable. This is a good demonstration if you're a little bit tight. And take a few breaths here. You can take that left hand and place it on the right side of your rib cage and think about breathing into the right side of the rib cage. So breathe in and feel the rib cage expand and open up. And as you breathe out, think about that right shoulder blade slowly melting down towards the floor. And two more breaths here. It's okay if you're tight for that right leg to lift. It doesn't need to be held down strong. And you can see with the breathing that you actually do get a little bit more rotation, even just with three breaths. Now we're gonna reach our right hand and our right foot really long and roll back onto our tummy. And we're gonna do it on the other side. So slide your left elbow and your left knee towards each other. You're gonna take your right arm and reach it through. So you're resting on your right shoulder. Keep the left knee heavy on the ground for now and take the left arm up and you're gonna turn and open up the chest, rotating to the left. 
Again, if you're a little bit tight, you'll get stuck and your arm won't get to the ground and that's fine. You can allow that knee to lift a little bit if it needs to. Place your right hand on that left side of your rib cage and take a nice deep breath in and fill up that left lung. And as you breathe out, think about your left shoulder blade drifting gently down towards the ground. Two more breath cycles here. Breathing in, rib cage expands. And breathing out, twisting a little bit more towards the ground. On our next breath in, you're going to reach this left hand that's hanging about and your left leg nice and long and roll back onto your tummy. And we're going to do it one more to each side to finish the practice. So slide the right elbow and right knee towards each other. Reach your left arm through. You're resting on your left shoulder. And then take that right arm and rotate and open up to the right. Two breaths here, breathing in through the nose, into that right side of the rib cage. And as you breathe out, think about that right shoulder blade sinking or softening towards the ground. Reach the right arm and right leg long, roll onto your tummy, slide the left knee and elbow towards each other. Reach the right arm through, so you're resting on your right shoulder. Lift the left arm up and turn to the left. Keep a bend, my hair is getting in the way. Keep a bend in your left elbow. You don't want a big long lever, it can annoy your back. So we keep a short lever. And two breaths here. If you're really tight, you can just rest in this position, breathe, and you can put a few pillows under this left arm if you want. And then reach the left arm and left leg long, roll back onto your tummy, bring your hands under your shoulders and press back into a child's pose to finish the practice. Knees wide, big toes together, and you're gonna rest your forehead on your hands. Breathe in through your nose, feel the back of the rib cage expand and open up and breathe out through your mouth. Two more breaths here. Last one, breathing in through the nose, down deep into the back of the lungs. Breathing out through the mouth. Press yourself back up into a seated position, a hand on the breastbone, a hand on the belly button, and last time just create that space in your torso. And you're all done.